Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I introduce my horses to cows. This is Teddy and he's pretty new to me. And what a lot of people don't know actually is my husband does a lot with cows and we have a lot of cows. And so it's always a good idea for our horses, one, to be comfortable with them and two, if we ever need to be able to move some cows that our horses are confident and safe to do so. So we purposely pick some really nice sweet cows that have been moved around and we know that they're really nice and gentle, um, but they're also really good at mo about moving away from a horse. So I want to set up the situation as best as possible for Teddy to have a good positive experience. Today is just about gaining confidence, letting him check everything out. So I'm going to play with him on the ground first to keep myself safe. I'm no bronc rider. I have no desire to ride anything wild. So I'd rather show him on the ground and see how he does. And then if everything goes well and he checks all the boxes of being confident and ready, then I'll ride him. So first, I just simply lead him up to the to the cows. And you'll see that we have them in a little pen here. That way he has a nice fence and a buffer in between. And um, just let him check things out, see what it looks like. As you can see, he's he's in awe of the cows, as my husband likes to say. He likes to check things out. It's really good. And when I walked him over there, he actually walked really good. He wasn't too worried about walking over there, but you could tell he had a lot of attention on the cows. And so we're just really taking our time here. I'm just noticing things. Because um, Teddy tends to be a bit internal sometimes about his feelings. So I got to really make sure that I'm not missing any cues and that he's actually um, gaining confidence and not just kind of going stoic and kind of going inside of himself. Just taking our time. I like actually the fact that he's starting to take his attention off the cows. That's kind of a good sign that he doesn't feel like he just has to stand there and stare at them. So now I'm going to take him away in a nice safe space to set it up before we let the cows out. Um, I don't want it to be have the cows right on top of them right away. I want to set this up again to make it as non-explosive as possible. I want to make this a nice and easy time for Teddy. And so I try to set it up to make it a good, um, good fun day for him. So we're going to just kind of come around here and come behind the cows. And a great way to get your horses confident in stuff that is scary or worrisome for them is for them to follow it. It's perfect if the subject or whatever they're worried about can go away from them and they can simply follow it. It's a great way to get a horse confident and curious. Right there, he gets a little, little whoop through there. No problem. Just turn him around. And I'm trying to keep the cows in front of him. Like there, he put himself where the cows were behind him. And so that got him a little bit spicy. But no worries. We're just going to keep going. We're going to go follow the cows over there. And I'm going to also make sure that I keep him out of my space that he has a nice distance, that I'm not right next to him. That way, if he does do anything exciting or big, that I'm hopefully at a nice, safe distance. But I'm still close enough, and I can inter, um, influence him enough to direct him and make sure we're going in the right direction. So we're not so, so far away that we have no connection. But I'm at a nice, safe distance. And notice here our distance between us and the cows. And again, we pick these really nice cows that move nicely away from us. And we just simply take lots of time and follow these cows around. Here we go, taking the time. We've sped it up for you so that way you don't have to watch it in slow motion. Too bad I couldn't walk that fast all the time. I'd get a lot of things done. And as you can see, if you notice, the gap between the cows and Teddy is getting closer and closer. Now we're gonna push the cows around in the other direction. Let him see stuff out of this, this way. And again, I'm making sure that Teddy's away from me and not on top of me. Again, notice that his confidence is growing and he's actually able to get closer and closer to the cows. There, I actually kind of stopped him for a second because he didn't notice that one on the fence. I didn't want him to get too close and then get surprised. So I'm also there to kind of buffer and make sure that he doesn't accidentally overstep himself and bite off a little bit too much and then scare himself. So again, you notice that gap's getting smaller and smaller as he's getting more and more confident. And the cows there are moving, and he's able to kind of follow them in a trot. And I like how 
how softly he went through there that time as opposed to the other times when he would put himself in between me and the cows. He'd kind of like really sneak through. I noticed that time it was so much softer and more relaxed and he wasn't as worried about having them behind him. So good signs that he's starting to gain some confidence. And again, this looks nice and easy because this is how I want it to be. I want it to be a nice relaxing time. I'm not trying to go in there and bust his bubble about this and make it really exciting and a big rodeo. I want it to be a good positive experience that really gains his confidence. It's a great way for cross training with me because to be honest, he's not going to move a ton of cows in his life. He'll do it here and there. He just needs to be confident about it. But it's a great way for me to cross train with him. He's intended to be an inventor in his life and he's new to me. And so it's a great way for me to build some new communication and partnership, challenge him with something new. It's great for his brain to get out and do something different than he's done before. Look at him there following him at the trot and getting closer. And so now he's feeling really good. So I'm thinking about riding him. But before I ride him, I'm actually going to have him move around a little bit more online each direction and make sure that he is really feeling nice and solid in all three gates and nice and relaxed. So that's feeling all good. So we're going to go ahead and saddle him up and see how he feels about the cows when ridden. And so the thing I got to think about when riding is he no longer has me on the ground as a buffer. <laughs> there he's checking out the cows, still in awe of them. And so I have to think about that. And so when I get on here, I'm first just going to, we've put the cows back in the pen. So he's got the arena to himself. I'm going to check him out, make sure he's feeling good, make sure he's feeling connected, calm, connected, responsive, and not extra spicy because the cows are in the arena and he's feeling really good. He feels just as good as if the cows weren't even there. So it's a great thing to feel. So it's checking the boxes. So I'm going to go let him go say hi. And notice how he stops himself right there. And I let himself stop. Let him stop. I'm not going to just push him through his boundary. I'm going to let him stop, hang out when he feels good again. I'm going to ask him forward and there again. He says, that's where I need to stop. So notice when I walked him over with me being on the ground, he was more confident with me being his buffer and he didn't mind just walking right over to the pen. But without a buffer, he's a little less confident. And that's okay. I just let him take his time. We're just going to do exactly what we did on the ground and just let him check him out first from across the fence and honor his his uh, confidence there and where he is. Let him check everything out. And again, it's different for a horse when you don't have a buffer anymore. So he's doing really good. So we went ahead and let the cows out. And I'm not going to just expect him to be able to walk in and be as close as he was. It was when we were on the ground. Remember when we were on the ground at first, he had to be quite a bit away from the cows when they started moving away from him. And he was slowly able to work up to being closer. And so I'm going to think about that and let him have a bit more distance and not just expect him to be able to be close right away. And I keep stopping him, letting him check in. And I'm making sure I'm keeping his nose pointed towards the cows at all times. And there we're getting more confidence. So we're getting a little bit closer. And we're even just playing around with having him go on different sides of the herd. And he doesn't realize it yet, but he's actually influencing where the cows are going by doing that and kind of pushing them around. Again, we chose some really good little cows here that know the game and are understanding about, about it and quite confident about being moved. And again, just taking that time, following these cows everywhere, trying to make it a no big deal whatsoever. And in a perfect world, he was actually quite confident. And in a perfect world, if he'd been more scared, I would have loved to have had another horse in there with him that knows about cows. Um, so that way the other horse could be his buffer. But he was doing so good. And we unfortunately, my husband was helping me film. And so it was not possible for him to film and be on horse at the same time. And Teddy was feeling good enough that we decided that we could do it without. And so there he was able to Move the cows, get in closer, even trot a little bit. Super proud of him. So we're actually just going to put the cows away. That's his first kind of job with these cows as he's putting them back into their pen for the day. And it was a great starting point for this guy and a good little building in our partnership um, 
really exciting things to come for Teddy and I.